Hi there. In this situa in this class or this clip, we're going to look at uh, the effect of intensity and frequency on the photoelectric effect. Okay, so remember two different things. Frequency relates to the energy of the photons. So if some if a, if a light has a high frequency, its photons have a high energy. If a light has a low frequency, like red light, its photons have a low energy. So that's frequency. Intensity of light. We're talking about photons. It's just how many photons. Load if there's loads of photons very intense light if there are less photons less intense light okay so we're going to look at red light and blue light and we're going to work on the basis that uh, the red photons energy is less than the work function of the metal and the blue photons energy is more than the work function of the metal okay so we're going to take a metal with an electron okay and remember Gloria of Einstein's uh, explanation that makes it nice and handy is that one photon works with one electron we can ignore all the rest of them okay so let's say the photon that comes in, we'll, just, we'll, we'll take easy numbers, okay? Let's say it has an energy of six units, okay? And let's say the work function of the metal is eight units. So when the photon gives all of its energy to the one electron, the electron doesn't get enough energy and it won't escape. But what will happen is the electron will vibrate with the energy, but it doesn't vibrate enough to escape. The energy is gone, okay? Lost, okay? So basically, if you send in loads of photons, loads of red photons, the electron doesn't save up the energy, so it will never escape. The electron will not escape because it's never given enough energy by a single photon. They're all just giving it six, it needs eight, the electrons don't escape. So let's get clear on it. Below the work function or the threshold frequency, okay, no electrons will escape and it is irregardless of the intensity of the light. The, the light can have huge intensity if the energy of each photon in that light is less than the work function, no electrons will escape. Okay, so below the threshold frequency, below the work function, no electron escapes regardless of the intensity of the light. Now, let's take the second situation of the blue light. Okay, so, right, so with the blue light this term. Right, so with the blue light, and let's say the, let's say the work function of the blue light is 10. 10 units. Okay, so it's above, sorry, the energy of the photon is 10, it's above the work function, which is eight, right? So this time, the electron comes down, gives the 10 joules or the 10 units to the electron, the electron vibrates, in this case it vibrates enough and it does escape, and it has a kinetic energy of two units. Off it goes. Okay, what if there's loads of photons? Okay, what if, what if it's very intense light? Well, loads of electrons will, be escape, will escape. If, there are, if the intensity is low and there's less photons, less electrons will escape. So once the energy of the photon is greater than the work function or above the threshold frequency, electrons will escape and the number of electrons escaping will be proportional to the intensity of the light. Okay, so below the threshold frequency, below the work function, the intensity of the light is irrelevant. Ab above the work function, above the threshold frequency, the number of electrons emitted will be proportional to the intensity of the light, to the number of photons, okay? And the electrons emitted is also, will also, could also sometimes, for a photo cell, for example, be the current. So the current will be proportional to the intensity of the light. We'll get back to that one. That's something worth skipping at the moment, okay? So hope that makes sense. There's a video clip later which will explain it a bit better and we'll, we'll move on from there. Thank you.